Okay, so I'm going to cover how we skip making uh, outbound webhooks in Go High Level, the premium action, um, in order to place calls outbound with air on Go High Level. So this is a way you can actually reduce that cost by 17 times um, by doing a couple of different things. So every time you place an outbound call from Go High Level, the instructions from air, you guys can find those here. There's the API. Uh, on stoplight and so you can figure out how to make your key you got to go make your own custom api key here and then you just follow the instructions here so i'm not going to cover that what i'm going to cover in this video is how to use my zap which is um called mass market hl to actually avoid that premium premium webhook and go high level and just do a standard webhook to trigger this automation um, the standard webhook's free and what you're going to do is have your client install my zap inside of their zapier account um, they can use the hack I have to reduce the cost by 17 times or not, but either way you're still saving money because Zap is less than a premium action in Go High Level. Um, the other advantage to my Zap is it's going to allow you to do things like book for a specific user on a team calendar from Air. And so I'll show really quickly here, I've got this template that I've used to book appointments in Go High Level through Air. Um, currently, Air is still not properly pulling data mid-call. And so this is the workaround that's working currently. Um, what you're going to do is receive the webhook here. And so I'm going to cover this just briefly, and then I'm going to go back and show you guys how to do an outbound webhook that's going to help you save um, on the premium action. So you also can avoid any premium actions by not having to send webhooks to go high level. Um, so the way you do it is you can just update fields directly with my zap. Uh, the Lead Connector Zap has maybe t six actions you can take. Mine has 101. And I'll do a quick edit so you guys can see. If I go to add a new action. Go to Mass Market HL. If you guys go on my air agent or my AI coaching agency page you can find it's called uh, let me just get the URL real quick massmarket.ai backslash agency coaching services you'll be able to get the zap there and so these are all the events that you can do that you can use so one thing that's very important, especially if you're rescheduling an appointment with a specific user, you can't do anything but round robin, not, not in Go High Level's native AI booking or even with Zappy Chat or anything else I've seen because they're all built on the 1.0 API. Only the 2.0 API allows you to book for specific users on team calendars. Uh, you can also do things like create agencies just straight up in Zapier without even, you know, just, just through the form here. So... Let's look at create appointment as an example. And I can choose the sub account. And here is proof that you can do it by location ID. So you just have to have a location ID in there that you want this to function for. And so basically, you could have a filter up here that catches everything from even just one air account because you could connect one air to multiple go high levels via this method. And you could have the first action be to check location ID. Or if location ID doesn't match this, then um, don't continue to search for a phone number. So that's the step I would use. I would do search for phone number by location ID. And I'll show the action here. And as you can see, you can filter it by location ID. And so that way you could have each of your zaps only respond to the to the right location search for the phone number and then I'll quickly breeze through the other actions here um, it's probably easier for you guys to just go look at my funnel I list all the actions there and the way this works is 
it's going to use AI here to summarize, you know, extract information from the call. This also gives you some additional flexibility rather than using what's inside GoEye level because it's cheaper when you go directly to OpenAI. Um, and <coughs> it's going to pull out, extract the date and time. I'm going to make a guide for this that will come with the zap. So for now, I'm just going to kind of show you guys how it works. And I'm going to have all of this in a simple document to help you set it up. It will come along with the purchase of my zap. Um, so basically, since the workaround we're having to do until AIR is able to pull data mid-call, is we have to check for the appointment after the call. So we check to see if the slot's actually available. If it's not, then we're going to create a contact. If there's no contact and send that person a message, then using the text platforms to book. Um, I use Zappy Chat. And then if there is a contact and a slot available, it books the appointment, which is going to trigger automation of thanking them for the time. Um, if there's not a contact, but there is a slot, so it's just the four different possible scenarios. Obviously, as AIR continues to improve, we'll all adjust, but the key of the flexibility is not having to have a developer every time you need to make an adjustment, which is what my Zap is for. Um, it makes it much, much easier to deal with authentication that is required with the 2.0 API. Um, so I hope that's helpful. I'm gonna go over right now how you actually um, how you actually can avoid the premium action, but it's pretty simple. Once I explain it, you'll understand pretty easily. So you just go to webhook. As you see, there's custom and there's regular. If you just send a regular webhook and you just have Zapier do an inbound webhook, boom. Now you're actually you're able to trigger the trigger the action inside Go High Level with a with an action in a workflow. Make the call to go and then you just would say right here, number two, you do outbound webhook following the instructions in this API here. Um, and then you're triggering the call while avoiding that one cent action. And you're doing it in a way that's gonna allow you to continue to adapt these workflows over time as the systems improve. That's it. Thanks guys. Um, everything else will be in the description there. If for some reason you're having a hard time getting in, you know, finding any of this information, you can hit my Instagram. It's at Rob's Gone MIA, R-O-B-S-G-O-N-E-M-I-A on Instagram. And in my bio, I've got the links to the agency services uh, which has this app. All right, thank you so much.